In this video, we will introduce you to the new loopback request node that's been introduced in IBM Integration Bus version 10006. The loopback request node can be used on Windows and Linux to access external systems using loopback connectors. Loopback is an open source Node.js framework which facilitates interaction with backend databases and other services through the use of connectors. By using these loopback connectors, we can create, retrieve, update, and delete artifacts in these external databases and services. Now, using the loopback request node, our flows can easily interact with NoSQL databases like MongoDB and Cloudant, which was not previously possible to configure through message flows. In this tutorial, we will use the loopback request node to interact with MongoDB. We already have MongoDB installed on this system, and we have created a database. Before we install the MongoDB loopback connector, firstly, we check the setting of our MQSI work path and change to the directory node modules where the npm command is. Run the npm command as shown, and the loopback connector is installed. Now that we have installed the MongoDB loopback connector, we need to create a configuration file called datasources.json. The file is used by the loopback request node to look up the connection details for the external system. The file is located in the connectors loopback subdirectory inside the integration node's work path. We'll enter the connection details from my MongoDB database, including the hostname, port, and the name of my MongoDB database. The file can contain multiple data sources within it. Access to the database is secured with a username and password. We could add this information in the data sources.json file, but it would be in plain text. So alternatively, we can store the credentials using MQSI set DB palms and access the credentials through a security identifier in the loopback request node. After setting the credentials, we need to stop and start the integration node so that the credentials can be retrieved by the loopback request node. We are now ready to construct our flow. We will use a simple flow to create entries in the database using HTTP nodes to receive the data and send back a response. The HTTP input node will use the JSON domain and we will be sending JSON input data. The loopback request node has some simple properties to fill in on the basic tab. We have to specify the name of the data source to look up in the data sources.json file. The object that we want to interact with, in this case, is called share price. We choose to create as we will be creating some entries in the database. The security identifier so that the username and password can be looked up in the credentials vault. Finally, a timeout can be specified such that the message flow can continue if no response is received from the loopback connector. We will send some messages using the flow exerciser to create some entries in the database. After we send the JSON input message, we can see the flow successfully process that message. We can see the JSON message output from the loopback request node, which shows that MongoDB has returned an ID for the entry that was created. We can later use this ID to retrieve the details for that entry if we need to. I can also create a flow to retrieve entries from the Mongo database. We can use the same details in the loopback request node in my new flow, but just change the operation to retrieve. Now when we send in an empty input message, we can see all the entries are returned to us from the Mongo database. All the entries are returned as we have not specified a limit or a filter. We have now used the new loopback request node to interact with a MongoDB database. We have shown how to install a loopback connector using npm. We define the connection details in a data sources.json file. 
we stored the security credentials using MQSI set DB palms, and we constructed a flow to create and retrieve data from the MongoDB database. Using the loopback request node, we can now interact with a large number of backend systems with loopback connectors.